Hi, it's Kiera. I'm coming to do my 11 week update. So today I am 11 weeks and one day and every Saturday is um, my days to be another week. So um, yeah, this week has been pretty interesting. Um, I am, let's talk about symptoms. Let's start with those first because those are always a pain in the butt. So, my my really big symptom, which I talked about last week, is I'm having um, really bad pregnancy acne. So, you'll see that little sucker right there just standing out calling your name. But, it's really not the top of my face that's bad. It's the bottom of my face. Like, there's bumps. And I have on makeup today, so it's kind of covered up a little bit more. And I'm hoping that the makeup doesn't aggravate my skin. I have not worn makeup this entire pregnancy. But I really wanted to kind of wake my spirits up and feel a little bit better about myself um, today. Because I've been a little down and, you know, go to church looking decent. And um, so I did put on makeup and very minimal amount because I am still worried about whether or not it's going to affect my skin. So we'll find out. But... So what I'm using for the, um, to wash and cleanse my face is I do wash my face uh, twice a day and I was using the Vino but as the seasons change my skin changes so I do have to switch it up. So I wanted to use uh, Cetaphil, however it's really expensive and I'm on, on a strict budget here so I decided to go with the Equate version which if you guys will always look and read the difference between the generic and the name brand, they're usually the same thing. I do still have a mental thing with wanting to buy name brand stuff, but the Equate was much cheaper and I got way more. So I did get the Equate version of Cetaphil and it's a gentle facial wash. And I used it, I combined that with baking powder, uh, baking soda, and I do that the, with the baking soda just once when I'm in the shower at night and then I just wash my face with Equate in the morning and then I use Witch Hazel as like my toner if you will and I really like that and you know I feel like it, it really helps to kind of just get all the rest of the extra dirt off and then I use a I do use Cetaphil's moisturizer with SPF 50 the sun really affects my skin so Little ball. Caleb, you wanna come say hi? Huh. Get the ball. Get the ball. So sorry about that. Um so yeah, that that's one pregnancy symptom. The next one is constipation. Um I am a very constipated and I talked about that with my prenatal vitamin. A lot of times that will have an effect on your tummy, especially if you've had previous tummy issues. Sorry, but Caleb wants to play ball right now. So, I'm going to have to ball, play ball. ball with him. So anyway, go get the ball. So yeah, tummy issues. I went like four days without being able to use the bathroom. It's very uncomfortable, so I ordered me some probiotics, which are not here yet. Um, matter of fact, I don't even know if I actually did the order yet. I don't think I did. So I need to do that. Um, to help clean up my system and make me more regular. And so I don't feel so bloated. And I, I am. I'm really bloated and I'm very uncomfortable and very it's just it's just not a good feeling. To okay, so I had to take a little break and play with Caleb for a minute. But now he's back with his brother, so I can finish this video hopefully. So yeah, I was start I was talking about constipation, probiotics and all that stuff. My other symptom is I still having the pregnancy headache. So people who are um, prone to having migraines before pregnancy, they do intensify during pregnancy. So just keep that in mind. I did have migraines before pregnancy. My migraines had um, really been lying dormant for a while and I had not had to deal with them for quite some time. And I, I you know, I conclude that because I was living a gluten-free lifestyle, I was... <clears throat> really watching the things that I was eating and making the appropriate changes and my headaches went away. However, 
since I became pregnant, although still eating very healthy, the headaches have started to come back. And although they're not very intense, they're there. They're dull. They're they're annoying. So uh, I haven't. I've been drinking coffee for it, but this week I really didn't feel like drinking coffee. I'm not a big coffee drinker, so uh, I didn't feel like drinking coffee. So I haven't been drinking a coffee, and I've just been kind of dealing with them. But I don't know if, it, if I have one tomorrow. I'll drink some coffee. My other pregnancy symptom is actually I don't even know if I have any more. Any? Okay, yes I do. One of my pregnancy symptoms, which is a really weird one, and a lot of people don't get it, is I have this really nasty taste in my mouth. Ugh. Ugh. I mean, seriously. And I don't need, I'm not even throwing up and vomiting and acid coming all up. It's just extremely, extremely nasty taste in my mouth. Even when I brush my teeth, about 15 minutes later, it comes back. And I'm talking about brushing my teeth with Arm & Hammer and using a mouthwash. It's just always there. So, especially if I eat foods like with onions in it or any of those foods like garlic and things that na naturally tend to make our, our mouths feel icky after we eat them. But even if I don't eat those things, my mouth is still just yucky. So, those are some of it. That, that one is probably the most annoying one because it just never goes away. And like chewing sugar free gum will also cause bloat. So I have this long list of foods that cause bloat that I'm trying to avoid, which I'll share that list with you, by the way. Um, just, yeah, I'm trying to avoid, and sugar-free gum is one of those things. So I did snack on a peppermint last week, but honestly, those things really don't help. They say to like eat citrus, citrusy fruits, drink a lot of water, eat pickles, and brush your teeth but honestly none of that stuff has really helped it to go away <sighs> so yeah um i have not been to the doctor this week i will go next uh i haven't went last week but i will go to the doctor on thursday so i may or may not take my camera with me i don't know this is a new doctor so i don't know how comfortable he, he's gonna feel with that but I'm definitely going to have it for the ultrasound, which I should let you know, we're not finding out the sex of this baby, so we'll just have to get a little creative and see what you guys think we're having. I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm not in any maternity clothes. Oh, I've lost another pound. I did lose a pound this week, so I guess I should tell you like what my weight is. So I'm down to 219. So 219 is my weight. I'm five for two down to 219. So I weight myself. So I have lost a pound. And I would like to continue to lose the uh as much weight as safely. As long as baby continues to grow, my doctor says it's completely okay. So I will continue to do that and just you know continue to eat eat very healthy. So thanks. And let me show you my belly now. I have on my pajamas. I did have on a really cute little outfit earlier, and I really wanted to do that video with the outfit on, but I wanted to come home and just take my clothes off and just get comfortable. So I didn't even care that I was doing this video, and I'm gonna do it in my pajamas. So I won't be able to show you your bare skin because my pajamas is like a dress. So can you see that? I don't have a bra on either, so Still nothing really there, although I am quite bloated. Yeah, quite this better. So, front, side. Yep. Yeah. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Bye, have a blessed week.